Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Very excited for today's video. It's a comparison video, if you couldn't tell. And um, I have the first proper canning of Days, which is the single IPA version of Haze, which is the double IPA version. I'm going to say since this one came out first that this is the single version of this, but whatever, this is a double version of this. No pressure, however you want to refer to it. It's all good. Uh, this one is 6.9%. This one, I think, is 8.2. Yeah, 8.2. Um, they were canned two days apart from one another, and they are almost exactly three weeks old at this point. Um, yeah, let's get going. So the I have reviewed both of these. Um, I haven't reviewed Hayes lately, but I kind of wanted to, you know, it's Tuesday. I've been trying to test my palate on Tuesdays. Um, kind of compare them, you know, what's, what's, you know, obviously different between the two of them, you know, what's similar, you know, I, I you, you would think, you know, there, there's a similar thread, but then obviously they should have different tastes and, you know, mouthfeel, levels of bitterness, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it just seemed kind of like a fun thing to do since I was able to get both and they're fresh and they were canned relatively close to one another and they've been cold and with me the entire time. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, I mean, right off the bat, Haze is a little lighter, so I'm not super surprised there. Um, maybe because I poured it first, but the uh, the head is a little, um, you know, a little smaller on that. But again, it might have been because I poured it a little earlier. But yeah, if you're going to look at these two and say which one's the IPA, which one's the double IPA, you're probably going to think lighter to darker. So yeah, not too surprised there. But there's, sorry, I'm just having a hard time holding... I guess if I grab them there, it's not so bad. Um, I mean, they're both both obviously, you know, uh, beyond unfiltered to some sort of hazy level. Uh, you know, lighter yellow. There's more orange in this one. Let's get to the aroma. Without a doubt, orange juice. You get uh, peach. You get some mango. Maybe a little bit of like uh, dried apricot. Now into the haze. Hmm, I'm actually liking the aroma. It's a little bit more pungent, a little more easy to get um, specific things out of this one, at least right now. Definitely orange juice and peach, but it's a different kind of orange juice and peach. Like, like it comes across you know, different, but still reminiscent of that. <sighs> the little bit of the dried apricot, I'm not getting this, but like the peach is a sweeter peach, almost like those peach rings, like the candy. So you're like, you're getting like, I guess it makes sense because it's a double, it's a little sweeter. A little riper. I actually get, I'm going to say more mango in this one. Yeah, more mango in this one. So again, we're, we're already seeing some some threads at peach, without a doubt, both of them. Um, the, the orange juice, uh, some mango in both of them. This one has that apricot thing. This one's a little bit more candied. Although the apricot was dried, which makes me think a little sweeter. Um, actually, I think... This one says... Uh, we taste and smell peach, orange juice, and apricot. Okay, no mention of mango, which is definitely a description I would use. And this one, orange juice, peach, and papaya. Okay, fair enough. There's a little fly around here. Okay, so yeah, neither one mentions mango. I haven't had papaya in a while, so I'm not, I'm not going to say if I get that or not. In the, again, riper, maybe a hair more tropical fruits, hard to identify specifically. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. Nice level of bitterness, good mouthfeel. Um, that orange juice is coming through. That peach, a little bit closer to, like, to the skin. Not super juicy, but there is some juicy element there. Um, yeah, that apricot thing. I think in my review I said apricot too. Less mango in the taste than I even got in the aroma. A little bit of um, 
Like Gray Smith Apple. Yeah, nice mouthfeel, nice bitterness. Goes down easy, but it does command your attention. The finish is, it, it's, it's, there's a residual sweetness, but it does dry out. And, and through that experience, you kind of want more. A little bit of chalkiness. Uh, interestingly, as I'm talking now, let me clear my palate. I got some water. I had to make sure I was covering the Yeti logo. They don't sponsor me, so I'm not going to give them any free advertising. Interesting. So, let me start with the obvious. It is fuller. The mouthfeel is heavier. It is creamier. So there's no question there. It's sweeter, but it's not... It's not night and day. Because there is still a level of bitterness. A good level of bitterness. You're getting that orange juice, but just like the aroma, it's a different intensity. It almost reminds me more of like uh, like concentrated orange juice. Um, uh, I remember like being a kid and like licking, like you get like the, the frozen can of strawberry, you're supposed to like mix it with the water, like licking it just to kind of see what it tastes like before I would, you know, mixed it. And it kind of has like that concentrate not that it's as intense as that. It reminds me of like just concentrate orange juice versus excuse me, more like fresh squeezed is what I was getting this one. Now I'm like retroactively thinking about it. Excuse me. Yeah, and so here's your, your common thread, but what's different, this is more peach juice. Not close to the skin. Like I don't need to put that qualifier on. I need to put like peach juice um, like if you were to get I guess probably from concentrate to keep that going an orange peach um, you know and then mix it with the water make it an adult you know uh, juice by turning it into a beer that's pretty spot on I'm not getting that chalky thing a hair but but less than that for sure Good level of bitterness. And, and again, though, like this one, it has that sweetness, but the, the finish is dry. So when you, as your mouth's drying, you're kind of like, oh, I'd like to take another sip, you know? Really good. Yeah, it, it's, wow, well, that sip, like, it, it, wow, it was really making me think of, like, eating an actual peach. Um, like it, it was kind of a cool thing, just like the memories that that's, it's not, have, it has not been a long time since I've had a peach, but like you take a bite of peach and like it just pulls off perfectly and you can see the pit. It was, it invoked that emotion or that memory, I should say, uh, uh from how much peach was in there. Um, I, I, I think this would be more interesting for me and I'm going to venture for people watching the tasting I'm getting is pretty much spot on to what they're saying. I'm getting a little bit of mango. I, I, you know, I was able to kind of, you know, uh, uh, what's similar, you know, how, how's this a, an amped up version? Or again, maybe I should go the other way since this is a newer one. How they took, you know, a lot of what Hayes, what's so good about Hayes and dialed it down to a single IPA. You lost some, but not a ton, which is, I think, pretty amazing, you know? I mean, if you're trying to accomplish... We have this double IPA, people seem to like it. Uh, we have this core lineup where we kind of do a single version, a double version, then we do like these double dry hopped and all these, you know, things that we have weird names for. Wait, we don't have the single version. We, we need to make that, right? So that's your goal. I think they really nailed it with this because you get the similarity. You're not losing a ton going down to the single IPA. I know a, a couple breweries I've talked to, you know, they're really trying to get their single IPAs and with that lower alcohol or even a pale ale. They kind of want, their, they're trying to get like their pale ales to drink more like IPAs and their IPAs to drink more like double IPAs. I think people are looking for a little bit lower calorie, lower alcohol kind of a thing, you know. And I think this accomplishes that 
very well. Yeah, this is thinner, it's a little lighter, it's not as sweet, but I mean, if you like the flavors of this, you're not missing that much of the things I just said that this is lighter on. Um, so yeah, different, but a lot of similarities, a lot of similar threads. You're still watching, better cuvee it. I'm gonna drink some more water. I'm gonna go on a limit since it's a relatively long review. <laughs> Hmm. I'm actually, for the first time, getting a little bit of an alcohol note in there. I'm still getting the same fruits. It, it's not radically different. It, it, it's you get your it's peach and orange up front. Some mango. You know, I'm trying to go through my list. Like, nope, there's no pineapple. Um, you know, it's it's not like a lychee thing. The apricot it has almost completely been lost at this point. But like the peach, it, yeah, it's not as intense as me saying, you know, a, a, a candied or a, a dried peach or straight peach juice. But it's also not like, oh, it's just like, you know, not particularly ripe peach. You know, it's like by the skin kind of a thing. It's just, it's, it's just very generic peach. Orange, actually same kind of a thing. It's just very orange juice, period. No qualifiers. Not, not pulpy, not from concentrate, not whatever. It's just orange juice as generic as you can think of it. Yeah, some of that alcohol coming through. Man, I sorry, I just, I just hate to be like two notes about it, but that's that's what you're getting. Cheers. Hmm. Nice creamy mouthfeel still. So you're not sacrificing that. The bitterness. Yeah, it kind of perfectly in the middle. It, it, you, you're, you're getting this velvety, you know, mouthfeel. You're getting this. The sweetness, but then the bitterness is keeping in check. Actually, a lot like the aroma. You're just getting like the, the generic orange juice. You're getting a very generic peach note. That mango is still fighting through. Like, hey, don't forget about me. I'm out of the can. I still matter. Um, so yeah, definitely getting some of that mango still. I will say this. The mango, not a ripe mango coming through. This is, again, I'm just going to keep using the word generic, I guess. Just... What is the most basic mango flavor you can think of? It is that mango. It's not some super juicy mango, but it's also not like, you know, you, you cut it open, it's all green or something. It's just the most like in the middle of the road mango. A little bit of, um, maybe just because it's warming up a little bit, I am getting some astringency, like a, a, a green tea that has steeped too long. Get a little bit of that mixed in, but I think that it might just be as it's warming up, it's a little bit more obvious uh, and coming through more. Um, I've noticed that, I forget what beer it was I had recently, and oh, it was from Aurora, it was that uh, Beast of Burlington. And on the review, didn't mention anything about it, finished it off camera, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna like that, like chive greenness, uh, a little bit of astringency. Uh, it was just, I think, because as it was warming, which I think is the case right now with this. Two clear winners. You like Haze, you want a little bit lower version. Winner, winner. They did not, you know, screw this one up. It's totally what it should be. Well done at Treehouse. Uh, have you had both of them? Have you been able to compare them? What are your thoughts? Do you think this is a worthy addition to the core lineup? Do you think it lives up to Haze and, and everything? Anything and everything related, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.